So, you might be thinking, what on earth are they up to now? Obviously, we've got so many jobs going on at the moment and we don't need to be starting another massive job. But, to be honest, we do. It is necessary that we get this done ASAP. Obviously, all of the new windows are here now. So, we've got the top ones already in, which are for the 401 suite. And we've got the next two, which are going to be for these rooms down on the, the ground floor, really. So I'm just in this sort of little vestibule room. We haven't really shown much of it. It's just a, a room between the entrance hall and the kitchen. And we've got the dining room behind me. And I don't know what it was used for, to be honest. I think this part um, just in front of me, underneath the window, was to store all the logs originally for all of the, the open fires. So it's obviously rotted quite a, quite a bit which you would have seen in the video quite a lot of it's just rotted away so we've got all that out of the way but while i was cleaning down here i managed to make a little discovery with a couple of little bits which is good so we had a couple of visitors here at the weekend and they'd been here in the early 2000s um, and they'd stopped here and they were planning on actually purchasing the chateau Obviously, unfortunately, it didn't go through, and um, that was sort of the end of their story with Lala Cell. But they managed to get a couple of little bits um, while I was here before it got sold to the whoever bought it after that. The, the owners had given them some bits from Lala Cell, and they gave them some cutlery, which was actually from the chateau. So, this is obviously one of the big seven spoons. And we've got some other ones which we've got a monogram on which we're going to do a whole video actually about what we've discovered there but reason why i'm showing you this one is while i've been cleaning down here i've managed to find a little teaspoon so it's very similar in design to the big serving spoon and it's been here for quite a while because it's completely black like the whole spoon is just completely filthy so We'll have to give that a clean up and see if we can find any little hallmarks on it. But yeah, it's another amazing discovery. So anyway, back to the job that we're on with at the minute. So I need to get all of the panelling off in this section to inspect the beams above because all of them that we've done are just completely rotten. So I need to get this panelling off, check the walls behind, check the beams to see if they're okay. Fingers crossed they will be okay. I'm not holding my breath for that. And then that's obviously already prepared to get the new windows in. Now I'll show you a couple of pictures of the windows that we've actually got here, which don't even close at the minute. And there's moss growing on the inside, so that's how bad they are. So I'm gonna crack on with getting these panels off. I'm just gonna take off all of the, the nails. Obviously we know that there's nails that are held into these side parts. Get them off. And the reason it's only me doing this is because the cobwebs out here, Ash won't come anywhere near it. So, me alone today, cracking on with this job, and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't come across any surprises. So, I will crack on now.
So that's the two side panels off and it wasn't too difficult to be honest. Um, I thought they were going to be a bit of a nightmare because they're actually recessed into these side ones um, and then obviously they've got nails going through and you can't really see the nails because they're just so old. And then on the other side we've got the um, radiator pipes so obviously they're behind those so there's no way I was going to get into them. So Luckily I managed to open up the gap and get the multi-tool in there to cut them off which wasn't too bad but surprisingly the stone looks absolutely amazing to be honest I think it's the best section of stone that we've we've come across while I've been taking these panels off and stuff like that so yeah it's it's looking brilliant I can't say the same for the top though um obviously you might see that a bit of the debris was coming down and I can see now that it's sagging quite a lot and obviously if there's a lot of debris that's fallen down as I'm hitting it then it's not looking good but I need to come down and I need to see what's behind it so no time like the present I may as well see what I can do and just hope for the best really um, and then see what the beams are like but judging by the state of the windows and the panelling around them I think I'm going to have to do a bit of work, but on the plus side, except the stones are good, which is amazing. So I'll crack on now, get up there and get this done.
So, I don't know if you've just seen that. Little problem. <laughs> the uh, whole ceiling fell down. Um, I'm just glad that it happened like while I was taking it down and I could see it um, because we'd just been working on the windows above in this section and the whole floor was obviously loose and it's just come through, the whole lot has just fell through. Um, obviously the beam was rotten anyway, I was starting to cut through that bit by bit and I just pulled it a little bit and I could just feel the whole weight just push it down and there was, there was no way obviously of, of sort of supporting it really. Um, luckily it's out, <laughs> luckily both of them are out, but I'll show you now the amount of weight that was on these beams above it and I cannot believe that it hasn't come down before now. Everything is just covered in dust and this is everything that's just fell down. So these were the beams that were up there. Now you can see the size of them. They're not little beams, they were massive, but the stones that were up there, they're just, they're, like these are unbelievable, the sizes of them. Now, don't worry, the whole shadow is not falling down. I'll show you, obviously, if I can get the camera angle. So up there, that's like the beams for the floor above. So obviously they just go into that part and then they, they sort of put stone in between. Um, but I'm gonna have to get those other bits out of stone that's up there because that's still crumbling before any more comes down. But yeah, just the amount that has just come down there. And I've just sweeped up. <laughs> but another little problem is the window smashed. <laughs> Luckily, obviously we're replacing these ones. Um, so I'll just have to put some cardboard or sink over so it'll look like it's abandoned again. But yeah, I just cannot believe that, like just how much has come down there. The, the weight of this that was above it. I can hear the rest crumbling. So I better get that down before it falls down again. And then we'll go from there.
So Terry's done an amazing job with this. I can't believe like how bad it was. <laughs> Looking up now and seeing the hole that's there. Yeah. How bad it is now. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of stones and that that's come out of there though, the amount and that could have just fell at any point though, like say with them beams being as you said they were. Yeah, it's honestly I can't believe it's it's stayed up there for this long, yeah. to be honest. Um luckily obviously we never came in this area and we were never actually directly underneath it because it was unusable the space anyway wasn't it so yeah the time yeah yeah but it just shows how bad um the stonework can get just with a, a little bit of water ingress it's not even that i think it's just a case that this has been covered up for years hasn't it i think they've known about i think a lot of these problems that we've encountered they've been known about but they've thought if we cover it up no well obviously the paneling was there so that's that's the original paneling when i took it off there's like writing on the back and that yeah. so this is the original paneling from 1806 yeah, yeah. Um, and this has just been a problem that's been going on but and on and they've, on. they've had these when these windows were only in the 50s is what i'm saying yeah so these windows have been changed in the 50s i think looking at how bad that was yeah it's been a problem before the 50s yeah um so i think it's a case of they've replaced these knowing that there's a problem there and just left it covered up thinking if we if we cover it up it won't be a problem and we won't have to look at it yeah <laughs> it's, it's crazy so no it's good it's a good job done and like i say it just makes the chateau it's another step closer to being safer and sturdier and, and living for a lot longer yeah it is obviously the next job now that we need to get done is to obviously clean all of the the loose debris off and then we can get some rapid cement in and get some new beams in and then we can support the floor upstairs yeah um instead of putting all the stone in we'll probably just do it with wood yeah there's no actual reason why we need that that amount of stone and that amount of weight back on the beams. No. It's just purely to fill a void between obviously the beam and the floor. I'm just fill it next one at the floor. Maybe not that, but yeah, we'll um, we'll fill it with zinc. I mean when you put your wood in, just so it stops the drafts going up, that's all. That's oh, all I meant. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> <You're horrible. laughs> I was gonna say, um, maybe you're not expanding the floor. Well, but we'll have to fill it with something. We're well, yeah. going to get the drafts. Well, we can put insulation in. All oh, right, we'll do that then. We'll do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it's good that that's done. Yeah, it's a good job done. Yeah. It needed doing, like I said. It's, it's one of them. So, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed today's show. And if you have, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you've got the bell click for notifications. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.